Yeah, so I don't think our war with Rome is going to happen because I, I saw an opportunity and I'm going to take it. And that opportunity is, I've just exploded in terms of science. I'm now number one, leading the world with 57 technologies. I've caught up to the, caught up to the Congo. Um, I don't know, there must have been some misconception. I keep forgetting that I can't always look at the tech uh, tree. That's not always uh, super accurate, you know, depending on the icons and where they're all at, because uh, I saw the Romans, like, way up there. But in reality, Trajan is not doing well at all. He's at 39. I, I don't know, some sort of just misleading stuff right here. Uh, and then India, apparently there, I, I know that this is in general, I remember specifically the developers saying that this is not exactly where each one will be. So in this instance, like they have us with India, India is actually in third place right now at uh, how many, 51. So there's a significant lead that I'm, I'm, I myself and Movemba have over Gandhi. Either way, so I've skipped a few turns, actually quite a bit of turns because, uh, well, the turn, the turn timing is taking a little while. I was actually really concerned about that in, in the beginning of this series. It's not, it's not as bad. It's really, I'm actually, genuinely surprised that it's not taking as long as I, kind of thought it would. Um, but it's not as, it's not as bad. Uh, either way, I still wanted to, kind of get ahead here, kind of get a, a good pathway for the space race because the space race is beginning. Okay, this is a bad example to say something like that. I swear, whenever I bring up turn times. Uh, it's always a bad, it's always a bad idea. Um, so what I have right now is I've got a few spies here on, uh, I think the biggest Congo city that I can find. And, uh, and I'm going to try to, I've got one of them going after their spaceport. We're going to try to sabotage their spaceport as best as we can. Uh, also, by the way, London never ended up growing, so I'm not going to build the spaceport in London. I've pretty much transferred my capital to the two Roman cities just to the south. Very, very happy that I did that because uh, without that, it would have been things would have been tough. Uh, now, what I'm trying to do actually is focus on more production buildings because I'm going to fund my space race. I'm going to fuel my space race with hammers coming out of uh, yeah, coming from these two Roman. Because I'm pretty much sending all of my trade routes to these two French cities. That way, we pump out these spaceports a little bit quicker, and uh, and we have the production to begin producing the parts and uh, I don't even need to look at this overview anymore let's just look at the science part of it there they are they're there they're about to launch there this, this is still gonna be close it still might not be a, oh my gosh they do have well that's fine yeah no this is the thing that really kind of slows down the AI research nuclear fission launch Mars reactors the you know research robotics all that stuff is what's going to take I think a lot longer uh, okay nice so yeah we want a power plant here in Nance because this is actually a very good city to, uh, for extra, it's it's getting out, it's giving off like six hammers or something like that. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, while we go over the turns, I can look at the. I, I went for a democracy. It's a space race. Might as well get all of those economic policies as we can. I've got market uh, economy. I also have the New Deal, and uh, this has been something that I've kind of been critical over this policy. I've always been like, why would anybody want to go for the New Deal? But in this scenario, I've been so rich, it's. It's worked out to my advantage where it's like, yeah, I don't, it's fine. Negative eight gold to all the cities with at least three specialty districts. Right now, I, I lost a lot of my policies that w was giving me, you know, tons of, uh, tons of money back. But e either way, I'm still making 300 gold per turn. I was doing like 550 at a certain point. So, uh, I, and by the way, I also have, oh, 22. What happened to my other available route? I swear I had another one. Let's go for this uranium. Don't think I'm going to waste... I don't know if I'm going to waste my time going after any nuclear weapons. We shall see. Yeah, we're going to see about that. I'm also spying on Germany because I think they're... Germany and Spain are still a big threat to me. Uh, they they could... They could declare war on me and, and really kind of slow down our, our progress that we're making here. Uh, let's fuel Paris just a little bit more. There we go. Continue to London. So London gives back seven hammers. Uh, all four of my cities in the British Isles as well as in Ireland... They're giving back six hammers. Nance gives back hammers that are like, you know, five or six. So, yeah, that's that's exactly kind of the plan here. And and let's hope that the production that I've done will be enough, you know, because I've tried to make that a core thing. I knew that it, I was probably going to have to settle for a science victory. And that is why uh, not only because right now at this point my economy can't really fuel much of anything else unless I wanted to purchase a few buildings here and there, which I've actually been doing. I've been purchasing buildings in like London or you know, things where it's like, if I rather build units, I'll still purchase the, yeah, the buildings instead. 
So yeah, we're going to get this guy out of here. I keep forgetting. I almost keep making that mistake. And because we have... What the heck? Can I not can I not come here anymore? Am I all out? All out of uh, s s positions there? It kind of looks like it. Okay, so you guys are, are here. Let's see. Do we have any... Oh, we're down to the three hammers. That's fine. I'll still get food back. Actually, I might as well go to Plymouth since they're giving me... Wow! Hey, Suez Canal ended up giving it back, giving back like six food. That's kind of surprising. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, so we're going to go there. I mean, everything is pretty much taking me one to two turns now to research. So that has been great. I'm going to continue to pass on this great admiral. Although I might come to, to bite those words, eat those words. But um, because I don't know. I mean, Rome also has, I think, an, a military strength of about 800. I've been obviously upgrading all of my military units. So... You know, we're still number one with 2,000. Oh, Congo at 1,500. I think I knew about that. Germany is really growing quickly. Where's Spain at? Spain's still back under 1,000. I don't know if they went to war with somebody. Oh, we don't have to worry about the Romans. So, yeah, the Germans are pretty much the only one that I kind of need to be concerned about. And there's, there's a few cities that I can't do anything with anyways in terms of production. Like, London can't really do much in, unless it comes... Yeah, unless they build me units. So... I thought I already passed on you. What the what the hell? What's going on here? Um, yeah, so so that's good. If you have nothing to do, build me units. That way we can kind of counterbalance whatever Germany. Because they're they're sending they've got their troops lined up. I mean these are really really old units, so we should have a a very easy time sweeping them up. Um, okay, so there's a Manhattan project. I I could go for that, but how much in terms of production? I think that Paris probably is producing a little bit more, 52 hammers. I mean, the, the Manhattan Project would, would definitely keep us safe. I hate that I... Okay, there we go. Is that 96? Jeez. How are you making 96? Well, a lot of that, a lot of that, a lot of that is due to trade routes and things like that. Um, then, fine, fine. Just just go ahead and do it. Just, just to have it, I guess. I mean, right? That's kind of a fun thing to have. How are you doing housing-wise? Housing-wise, you're fine. We've built a few sewers. That also was... Uh, that helped me boost. Ooh, I've got the money to get just get this zoo online. I'm going to do it. And uh, as long as you have two districts where you'll be all good, I guess we'll go for a research lab even though... Oh, did they catch me? Yep. Yep, they caught me. Well, it was a good try. It was a good try. Always got to try to get them to escape. Doesn't always work for me, though. Nothing. Man. Okay, so I clearly have a lot coming out of, of Paris already. Here, let's go. let's go get the food then. At least if I can keep this this city growing, I think it's safe to say, yeah. Without the uh, without the destruction of, of France, if I did not declare that Hundred Years' War when I did, uh, I probably would have lost this for sure. I still might lose this, but I think it's safe to say I probably would have for sure lost. I'm gonna accept this deal now, even though I, because what is he gonna do with? Actually, maybe I shouldn't be giving him a spy. He might be stealing technologies. He he could always mess with my spaceports. I was going to take that amenity because I'm still lacking amenities in a few of my buildings, but uh, obviously some economic policies have, have really helped me out with that. You know, I, I keep forgetting. What's going on with... Uh, can you get out of my way? I'm trying to look at some things here, some details. Okay, well then, uh, there you go. Legacy, there it is. What do we get? Bonus... Miles away. Bonus uh, district production. Bonus yield from district projects. Oh, and that's good because I've been doing a lot of that. I've been building a lot of, um, like, I've been doing a little bit of the campus research stuff. That has been really useful. Okay, so now I just need to go down towards the bottom and grab this. And then we'll be good to go. I would have had everything that I would have absolutely needed at that point. Um, okay, so I don't think I can pass up this anymore. It just is going to continue to pop up. So you just sleep. I'm not, I'm not even going to do anything with you. Uh, you could use an arena. You could also use a spaceport, though. I will say that. But it's spaceport takes tons and tons of production. Yeah, go ahead and build a few arenas because you have a good position here. You could affect three cities as soon as we build the zoos. Whenever we do decide to do that. Hey, man, I hope Germany comes after me. I hope. I, I kind of don't. but Because that's just going to be a big time waster. However, uh, we would, I think, just completely wipe up the floor with them and I, I, I won't even need to really bring any units over 
Although, I must say, I, I did have to, uh, I, I did form a few core units so that I could boost a technology. One of the technologies, I can't remember. So I, you'll see number-wise, I actually might be a little bit down in terms of strictly the amount of units I have. Um, but obviously those core units are a little bit stronger. So, or quite a bit stronger, actually. Yeah, so let's get that out of here. Are you going to still not let me go here? Oh, no. I don't know what was going on with that. Bug? Maybe? This city has uh, died a few times. A few population, a little bit of population. There you go, Operation Ivy. We might as well build it. We might as well. Library is good. I think we're getting like bonus yield for uh, campus buildings. Di yeah, districts. Buildings in campus districts. Something like that. We're getting a little bit of bonus yield. Boom, there's our spaceport. So we'll still have the Manhattan Project up and running. We're going to get ourselves one source of uranium at the very least. I'm interested, you know, this uh, the resources that aren't sprawled uh, across this UI. Wondering if uh, this mod changes that or something. If it does, that's great. Because I was a little bit concerned about that. Spent millions of dollars. In a campaign like this where we have so many resources and we're just sprawling o all over the place. Where is Space Race? Oh, we already grabbed space, space Race. Production towards Space Race projects if a city has either a military academy or a seaport. <sighs> I don't know if we have one of those things. I'm going to go professional sports. I should still enact that either way. Um, what was the other thing that we got? It was, uh, oh, triples tourism. Yeah, we don't need that. What would I take care of? We don't, we're not doing any international trade routes. I thought I was going to be, but I, I am not. Military academies or um, seaports. Paris, don't let me down. Okay, you don't. But, do we even need that? Hmm. You do have an encampment. Oh, wait a second. This is why I have money. Bammo. Okay, almost made that mistake. There's my military academy. And, uh, what is this shaved off? Three turns? Was it worth it? I don't know. It's not like I was doing anything with my money anyways. So, actually, it was. Three turns is, is three turns. I'll steal some gold away from you. Get try. To, I don't know. Try at least. Okay. So what you got? Show me what you got. Okay. We'll go to Paris. Obviously things have gotten pretty laggy, but again, it's turn 300 and it's and it's okay. It's not terrible. 14. So when this guy finishes, oh man, we're gonna finish both at the same time, which means that we'll be able to split the production between these two cities. Hmm. They've, uh, they're, they have not launched their Earths. They still haven't launched anything yet. So we can launch our moon landing. Research nuclear fission. I think we would have researched everything. Launch, launch, research nanotechnology. That's what we need next. What am I going after? Plastics? Nothing on this Earth lasts forever. Okay, so nanotechnology. Hold on. Where's that at? Almost forgot that. Oh, okay, good. I'm already... Oh, I... I duh. I just, I just wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Do we want to do campus? No. Don't really want to even do an archaeologist at this point. If anything... Oh, you don't have a campus, so you can't do... What about this? Gold and great engineer points. Great engineer points. A late game great en engineer, what could they do for us? Late game amenities for the city, plus housing. That's kind of cool. You know, I haven't gotten too many great... Engineers, I did in my German campaign. I guess we'll just go with an archaeologist, but um, haven't really done messed around with that. At least, great engineers in the late game. It's just just interesting some of the bonuses that they're offering. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue to accumulate golds, and when things pop up like that, so probably ah, uh, you know what? You're not gonna get the extra production. You don't have an encampment. Um, and we're gonna need a spaceport to do all this stuff. So it looks like Paris is our only chance. I, a harbor maybe would have been nice and then buy a spaceport. Those districts just take forever though, man. Those districts, districts just take way too long and, uh, and it kills me. Okay, so we're going to get you out of there. If I could speed up you, that would be ideal, I think. Seaport? I mean, I guess. I'm just trying not to take... Yeah, zoo is a good idea. If we cannot buy it. 15? Yeah, it's fine. We, we actually have... Where are we lacking amenities? In, in a city that doesn't matter. 
at least from what I see. I don't I don't know if that's gonna stay like that. So um, so anyways, I'm gonna stop right there. It looks like we have about a video or two unless a war is declared, but uh, it, I think we'll be wrapping this up pretty soon. We'll also have you know access to some uranium. That's good. Professional sports. I don't think in terms of policy, policy wise, there's nothing really else for us to do. A little bit disappointed that no one went to South America. Look at all this. Look at all this land. I would have wanted to, but I think for the first time in Civilization VI, I was not able to. I I kind of got I stopped. I had I I literally had to stop going for uh, cities, and that has not happened yet. I was really surprised by that. Okay, you go with the zoo too, because I just wasn't able to keep up with the amenities. It was it was kind of crazy. I was like really surprised by that. Disappointed in myself and surprised. I don't even know what I'm doing in Germany right now. I'm just I'm just doing stuff. I'm just messing with them. If they wanted if they want to come after us, that's fine. We'll go to Bradford. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna stop right there and we'll pick it up in the next one. It looks like the Congo might give us a run for our money though. Uh, this seems to be the best AI we've had to face in terms of like this space race uh, end game in Civilization 6. But anyways guys, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.